My name is Maddie Pelletier and I graduated from Christian County High School in 2012. Um, I played sports in high school. I played softball and golf, um, which took up most of my time. But when I wasn't playing sports, um, I was shadowing at vet clinics and I was um, co-oping at the diag breath at diagnostic lab. Um, definitely take chemistry if you want to go into the veterinary field because a lot of the weed out classes in undergraduate are chemistry based courses um, and advanced science courses so taking a lot of advanced chemistry if you can or even physics or advanced biology anything advanced science in high school would definitely prepare you more. Uh, math is definitely important um, as it correlates to the sciences and uh, chemistry and that sort of thing. You don't really have to take more than two advanced math courses in undergrad, but math is the backbone of physics and um, chemistry and those sort of classes, so having a strong base in math is important. I went to college at Murray State University and I graduated in 2016. I chose Murray just based on the money that they gave me for scholarships, honestly, because um, the veterinary career I knew Going into veterinary medicine, you'd come out in a lot of debt, and the debt to income ratio is um, not as good as other careers. And so I was trying to set myself up the best I could and get the most money early on. I think that it's important to live within your means while you're in college because it's definitely easy to take money out of these loan programs and then spend it on all kinds of things. But um, it's important to realize that the money that you're using now, you'll have to pay back double in the future. Um, so getting as many scholarships as you can and um, trying to do the best you can working in school. I have a job at vet school that's every other weekend and it's not much but at least is some form of income. Entering um, any type of medical field, whether it's dental school, medical school, nursing school is definitely a competitive process. Um, I, when I applied to vet school, I, there was thousands of other applicants and they only take 120, which is um, crazy to me that that is a possibility, but um, setting yourself up for being unique and having unique experiences and doing the best you can in courses because obviously grades matter and uh, taking the GRE and your ACT score, all of that matters in the future, so if you focus on it now, then you'll definitely set yourself up for being a more competitive applicant. Um, I took the ACT for the first time in middle school, um, but then I took it seriously as a sophomore, and then I took a lot of prep courses. I think I took the ACT five times just to try to get a higher score. Um, Kentucky doesn't have a vet school, so in um, to kind of counteract not having a vet school, the Kentucky government has set up a program with Auburn University and Tuskegee to allow for students to go to those schools with in-state tuition and then Kentucky will pay the difference. And currently there's 41 students that are in that program each year. I think it's um, a lot of people say that they want to go into veterinary medicine because um, they love animals more than people, but I think it's definitely about the people too. Um, the people that you can help through being a veterinarian, people have a very close relationship with their animals and um, definitely the puppies and the kittens and the baby animals are definitely a added bonus but the people you get to meet um, through veterinary medicine is just one just great to see the bond that you, people have with their animals. There's um, a lot of different type of veterinary medicine aspects that you can go to. Um, and if you can dream it up then there's probably a career in it. You can go into food safety and inspecting food um, or you can do small animal you can do anything specialize in anything that they have in human medicine um, so if you if you go to vet school then you can do a residency program after that and you can be like an ophthalmologist or like a cardiologist any for animals anything like that you can specialize in um, you can be as specific as you want to be or as broad you can do mixed animal medicine and do all the animals you can do exotics work in a zoo you can really do anything you want to do I think that I would definitely take a lot more science courses I did I took as many as I could but I would definitely try to take even take some at the college if you could or anything like that because just having a basis in chemistry and physics and stuff would definitely have made my life so much easier if I was um, going back and doing it over. I think the most important thing is to have determination and set goals for yourself. If you 
Um, set goals for yourself early. Like, I knew I wanted to be a veterinarian for a very long time, and so I made sure that I had um, internships lined up. Um, any, basically, tracked your life to what you want to do because being a, applying to veterinary school is definitely hard and competitive, and if you can track yourself to that and focus, make that your goal, then you'll definitely be more competitive than if you were just on a whim and decided to do it. And definitely having empathy and that sort of thing because um, veterinary medicine is hard. Um, you have to euthanize animals, you have to see animal suffering, you have to um, be there for people who've lost loved ones who have this pet from them. Um, so having empathy for the people that you work for is definitely important. I just want to say that if you ever um, feel like you're lost and you don't know where to go to be a certain career or definitely talk to the people that are in that career because People in veterinary medicine are def are definitely open to answering your questions. I know that I would be glad to help anyone who is applying. Um, when I was applying, I just asked some of the local vets to help me and they were more than happy to help me. And so not being afraid to ask the people who are actually in the career and to help you is because they definitely will. People are, are very nice and would love to help you. Uh, my dream job would be actually to come back to Hopkinsville and open up my own clinic because um, I love Hopkinsville, my family's here, everyone I love is here, it's a great town and um, opening my own clinic would definitely allow me the opportunity to have more freedom to uh, make decisions and um, kind of do my own thing and uh, I would definitely be a mixed animal veterinarian because I love cows and I love horses and I love, um, I love all the animals so being specific on just one animal is definitely not what I want to do so that would be my dream job.